Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is C-Class in the welterweight division. Fighting out of Lucan MMA by way of Kundalkin. This man holds an amateur record of three, two, and one. He has a semi-pro record of one and one. He weighed in at 77.7 kilos. Here is Paul the Hangman Fighting out of Chumsuk by way of Lisburg, he has a record of three and one. He weighed in at 80.1 kilos. Please welcome Mal McBall! Last fight to Brian Gorman in Strabane in September. Yeah. Eight advantage for Ma. Not as much as the last one, but. No. Well, still a, still a reach differential. So th there was a bit of a problem with the weigh-ins for this fight. Um, Ma came down to do his weight cut, and he found that he'd been weighing himself in a scale that was weighing really light. So he was actually two kilos overweight for the match. So uh, they, they rang. Um, they rang the promoter, the promoter got onto Paul's coach and they decided they'd take the fight anyway. So, but Mal actually came in at 80 kilos for this match. Ooh. It's supposed to be at 77. Now that guillotine looks reasonably tight. I don't know if he can get the levers in the half guard, but he's definitely got the neck. Again, yeah, in the positions that he got to watch that doesn't turn. Now. He needs to get out of the half guard to complete that. He does, but it's, it's turning it's into a deep. crank. Paul trying to slide himself, keep him out really tight so he can't stretch him for that. Just watching that hand of Paul. No, he's trying for the reversal. Yeah. Again, if he, as long as he keeps Mal compact, Mal can't stretch and complete the choke. Yeah. Plus, again, the position right against the, the cage. And he's using that lockdown to try and keep some of the weight out of it. But Mal's defending that at the minute. See a reversal. He's going to he's going to need the risk. He's going to need to take the risk to open the legs and try for the reversal. But again, he's cool close to the cage wall. Yeah. It's going maybe the wrong direction. Quite possibly. And he's going into a guillotine as well if he does reverse. So there's a risk there too. If that arm is still tight. Compact. Mal trying to roll his chest up to try and get that. Yeah, trying to finish it with it with his, his hip thrust there towards in the mount. Paul again having the right idea, squeezing everything up nice and compact. Looking for full guard. He's got Miles back against the cage wall. Paul seems quite relaxed in that position. He doesn't seem to be, do he's doing just enough. He seems fine, he doesn't seem to be in any danger. He's certainly not reacting like someone who feels like he's in danger anyway. But Mal has to watch for that he doesn't start to seize, his arm doesn't start to seize up. He's been in that position for a long time. Still going for no, it. looks a bit more serious now, doesn't it? It looks like he thought about tapping there. Now he can stretch out. Once he stretches, Mal's really trying. That is tight, that is tight. Oh, Paul's still going for the reverse, and he gets his reverse. Got the reverse. over opposite shoulder. He had to earn that reversal. Push yeah. that shoulder into the face. Now we'll see if he can get his head out. There it is. And now he's that arm burnt out. That arm could be there for the taking now. After expending all that energy squeezing. Yeah. It's full of That's blood. always the danger. Full of lactic acid. Mal trying to do a bit of cage walking himself. Still in half guard for the minute. Got an ankle lock, but he, again, with his position, he needs to... Can't extend. It's not bad, he needs to slide his back. 
He's to bump off the cage and slide to his back. But I, I think the man's arms are burnt out. He's lying there just recovering, it looks like. That is a good ankle lock. That is. Now oh, can't get up. Got it on. He's, uh, he's, he's arched his, his back now. If he can arch with that. Oh, he's lost it now. It looks like. Mal takes advantage of the mistake. He'll take top position again. Ankle lock still on. He's to push him again and get him flat. Now Mal's got his weight forward. That's going to be difficult yeah. to do. Mal should just push the legs down. Does that go of the ankle? No, he's put it back on again. Looking to his coach, looking for his corner. Has to watch that neck crank. Here is a move. See, Cass is a legal technique to crank the neck. Some shots there, my man on top. Shin across the throat. Big shots. Ten seconds. Only ten seconds remain. Time. That's a tough round to score, Peter. Who, which way do you give it? Very even contest. My only worry is that you know there were some shots there, there were some techniques that are clearly not C-class techniques. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm leaning on the edge of, of uh, Paul for the reversals and escapes and attempts for the ankle lock. Seem to be on. Uh, Miles seemed to dominate the first part of the, the round, but never failed to capitalize. I think he spent too much time trying for the submission at the start. They're very evenly matched, these two guys. We just to see what tactic they take now when they come out for this next round. He's going to have to watch what the fuck he's doing. Cameraman's in danger of being trapped inside the cage. Well, not if he's in there, it's every man for himself. Go <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw in a bin lid and a couple of barbed wire sticks. <laughs> Make it an even contest. Cage door is locked. Off we go, round two. Now, it'll be interesting to see what tactics both fighters take. Paul will need to tidy up his shot if he does shoot again and avoid getting caught in that. Uh, nice Mal job, man. Nice job. So man has beaten him to the punch here every time so far, using that reach to his advantage. Nice leg kick. Mal seems to be more active with the fighters. Yeah, I think Mal has decided to stay standing now and use his reach. As he's landed there in the first couple of exchanges. And Paul, from Mal, Matt, well, leg kick Paul from having Paul. some success with the leg kicks. Great to see the sportsmanship in the sport like that. Both fighters swinging there. What a turnaround! Excellent reversal for the take down there by Mal. And he's got top position now. He's looking at that arm. Setting up a Kimura. Needs to stay to this side. Step over. Try to jerk maybe the elbow towards him and switch to this side. Yeah, and the attacker. defending really hard, but there's a, there's a solid Kimura there. He needs to tie up a big push off the cage, potentially coming our way. Paul trying to escape, but uh, Mal using that lever of the Kimura grip to turn him back to his back. Trying to work. I think Paul's going to try for it. <coughs> I thought he was actually trying for a reverse triangle there from that position. Just trying to use his knees just to hold this in the north-south position, but uh, he needs to get a lot tighter than that. I think he's actually he's starting to lose that grip now. The arm is still in danger to be sure, but I don't think it's it's going to be easy for him to finish now. He does. He seems to spend too long in each submission. You know, if the, if the submission's not working, he should let it go. Look for something else. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They get they, all the top jiu-jitsu guys. It's in the transitions that they get their, their wins. Yeah. Still holding north south, but he's getting nothing from it. A 
from knees his corner down. showing the appreciation for those knees to the shoulder. They are going to be damaging. You know, they're, they're big knees. There's no doubt about it. He's getting a lot of power into them. All trying to protect himself on that side. Turn it in, turn it in. Got to be careful. The ball is almost out, but he needs to do a peek out at this point and get his head free. Yeah. He also needs to, he needs to try to get the leg. Try to get the leg and suck it into him. I, I don't understand why Mal doesn't just stand up. He was clearly yeah. willing to stand up. As you said, the reach advantage and the height advantage is clearly where Mal needs to be. But the submission seems to be working. Well, he's got a nice scissors grip here on the head now. Well, no he tries to escape from it. Yeah. Paul just needs to get his head out and it's a different position. Well, Mal could take his back from there if he's willing to spin around, but he seems to be invested in that north south. At the minute, Mal is clearly winning this round. Absolutely. Uh, he's, he's dominated the position all right. Anacon, the choke, maybe there? It doesn't look like he's deep enough for it, but absolutely it's a potential submission. You want to be Thanks. careful he doesn't knee him in the head now. Paul has had no success in escaping from this position. Go for, go for that on the, on the and because Mal is threatening with submissions all the time, the referee doesn't want to step in. It's starting to look more like a traditional position, but he's in danger of connecting with the face there. Paul gets half guard. Trying to look for the reversal. It's, it's gotten quite stale on the mat here, to be honest. And uh, I think the referee has to be thinking about standing it up. Ten seconds to end of this fight. So the remaining seconds in the, in the final stanza, punctuated by big shots from Mal. I think that's probably going to go to Trump's up this decision. Yeah. I think, I think Mal has done enough to shade it there, although it's quite a close fight. We'll just go to the judge's decision from inside the ring. How'd you get drafted? Mick Full. Okay. Mal Mick Full. So 2018. Sound? 2018. That's two rounds. Fighters to the center of the ring. The official decision. All three judges scored the bout. 2018 for your winner. Fighting out of Chomp Sud. Mal Mick Full.